Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I haven't been over here. I'm muttering to myself in the bushes. <laughs> this is called cane. It used to be very uh, common in the sand hills, almost gone now because it requires fire. This is the reason my family burned right here for this plant. And the reason this plant was important to my family, as I said, we were originally turpentiners. We burned to protect those turpentine trees from wildfires because they had sap on them, they would burn up. So you had to use fire to protect your turpentine trees. Prescribed burn means that there is a very specific prescription. It, what it does is it takes the, what we would call, I guess, the, the pending hazards out of it. You, you look at your weather parameters and you look at especially things like your wind conditions and your atmospheric stability to, to choose when that window, the ideal window for that burn. The PBA is I would say a process by which a landowner can come in with an interest in using fire and pick up the skills and confidence they need to apply fire on their land. We were the first one and I think now 52 counties out of our 100 counties in North Carolina are now covered by a PBA. And they've blown up in California, all over the Southeast. I think there's two dozen in California now. This is what it looked like before we took fire off the landscape, you would see these two foot burn scars, burn marks on the trees, because that's as tall as the fire got. There was not much fuel, so it came through at this level, burning everything up. Now, because we have so much fuel in the forest, it's catastrophic fires. But this is what we're trying to get back to right here. You can't come at fire without respect. I and mean, it is a powerful force, but it's also a healing source. It feels empowering. It feels like a very tangible way to connect to the past and also guide the future.